Hello there, friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are a beginner to makeup, uh, and by that I mean having never worn makeup before and you're scared to death to do it, or you're a beginner to cream makeup, you are in the right place. Today's video is a tutorial that I did on my Instagram Live, and it's going from start to finish, uh, complete, full face of makeup and I'm going to introduce you to Saint Beauty makeup. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Good morning everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing well. My name is Mindy. I'm from Mindy Over 50. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and also on YouTube. Today, we are going to put on makeup, and I thought I would gear this to those of you that are beginners. Maybe you've never worn makeup before. Maybe you just haven't worn it in a long time. Maybe you're mature like me, and uh, I am over 60, I'm 67. Um, my skin has really changed. Um, it is, uh, I have a lot of fine lines, a lot of deep wrinkles, as you can see. I have nothing on my face right now, no filter or anything. Um, I have just cleansed it, I've done my uh, prep, which is, I always start with the toner, then I use a serum, and uh, I use an under eye cream, and I use sunscreen. <laughs> and the products that I use are all by Celevive. I've used those for probably close to 10 years, and I think they have made a big difference in my skin. And you need to start with a um, a good skincare regimen because makeup isn't gonna look great unless you have a really good base to put it on. So uh, if you don't know me, I am a Saint Beauty artist. Uh, I have been for less than a year, although I've been wearing this makeup for about two years. I found it two years ago and I'm like, what the heck is this? It, it was great. I found somebody online that was wearing it and demonstrating it. And I kept watching and I'm like, I have to try that. So I uh, asked her for a color match. She matched me. I had my makeup in just a couple of days and started wearing it. And it led to me deciding to become an artist because I love it that much. It's great for any age. 20 year olds can wear it. Um, I'm 67, like I said. I made my mom over with um, with this makeup and my mom is 90 and she looked absolutely beautiful. She was tickled pink, <laughs> she wears it. Um, so any age can wear it, but it's uh, especially good for those of us with with skin imperfections. Um, it doesn't uh, sink into lines like liquid makeup does. It doesn't feel cakey. It is cream makeup. And uh, we customize our foundation to your specific colors, all right? I'm going to show you from my artist palette the amount of... Um, foundations or we call them highlights that we have this these are just these are just foundations okay there's one um, these are contour colors right here and these are little um, illuminators okay we also have lip and cheeks here are just some of them that we have and um, we also have our eyeshadows, which right now at the present time, we have over 80 shades. Here's just some of them. There's a lot missing because they're out in other palettes. So, palettes. so here is um, one level. Here's another level. Anyway, 
The nice thing about Saint Makeup is that you uh, pick as far as lip colors and eye shadows, you pick just exactly what you want, okay? Just those colors. You're not stuck with a palette that maybe has 10 shades in it and you're only gonna wear about three and the other ones are just gonna sit. How many of those do we have in our closet? <laughs> I have a lot of them. Um, you pick those um, according to your own preference. And as far as um, foundations, we call our foundations highlight. And we generally, when we color match someone, we generally choose two shades. One is your main, which mostly matches your skin color. And the other one is maybe two shades lighter and that is a brightening highlight. And those we put kind of on the center of our face, okay? Um, I will also um, match you to a contour color. Um, and those you can usually wear a couple, um, you know, and just switch it up if you want to. Uh, we also have bronzers. Right now we have four different bronzers. The one I like the most is Bella. I use that all the time. And uh, so there you go. That's just basically what it's all about. You can go on my website, purchase them. They are going to come in little tins like this. This is actually a lip and cheek that I'm using today, but this is the size of the, of the tin. And they're gonna fit in a compact. You could start out, if you just want the basic colors, two highlights, a contour, and a lip, they're, they'll fit in one like this. This is just a little uh, four. We call this a compact four. The next size, is like an, I believe it's an eight. Yes, it's got four and four. It's two levels. We encourage you to go with two different levels because cream makeup, well, the, the foundations are cream and the eyeshadows mostly are powder. So if you have them side by side in your compact and any of the powders would crack then they can, those colors can get mixed into the cream tins and sometimes you lose both of them. So it's not a good idea. So we encourage you to do different levels. Keep your creams on one and your powders on another. This is the one that I'm gonna be working out of today. I moved these from my regular um, compact to uh, this, just a smaller one. Uh, what we have here, this is mango, it's a color corrector. Sometimes you have redness, you have dark spots, you have rosacea, different things like that. And we will suggest a color correct that you'll put on first, usually very lightly. And that will just correct that color and then you'll go ahead and put on um, your mane and your brightener. So there's uh, mango for a color correct. This shade right here is uh, amber. That's my main color. This one right here is linen. It's a, I think it's linen, yeah. It's a brightener. It's, you can see it's just a little bit lighter. Here is my contour that I'm using. That's called, uh, this one is called Astoria. This is my lovely Bella bronzer. And this is a lip and cheek called Baby Watermelon that I like. We're gonna be putting that on today and we're gonna mix it with, I'm gonna to top it with the Black Cherry um, for my lips and cheeks. So here, this compact is, let's see, this is a four. This one with the two levels is an eight, meaning it'll hold eight tins. Eight and four in the top level four in the bottom. This one right here is a 12. It will hold six tins on the top and six in the bottom. Now in my bottom, I don't have them in here. I took them out, but um, here are the uh, eyeshadows that I'm going to use today. And they come in a smaller little tin. And when you get it, you're gonna just pop it in. It's magnetic, okay? 
You can move these around. If you get tired of what you're carrying in your compact, you can take it out, put some other ones in. It's totally customizable to you. Um, I always suggest when I am just color matching somebody for the first time uh, and they think that they're going to end up buying some eyeshadow, I encourage everyone to go with an 18. And the reason being is that if you had like this scenario where and you had six creams, all right, you had your two highlights, you have your contour, one uh, bronzer, a lip and cheek, and maybe a, um, a color corrector or another lip and cheek. This is six tins right here. Um, if you wanted to add some later, you would not have room. You'd have to put them on the second level with your powders, which is not a good idea. So I generally encourage everybody to go with the 18. Um, and this will hold nine tins in the top and it'll hold nine tins in the bottom or 18 uh, eyeshadows. You have plenty of room in this to grow, okay? You won't ever have to worry about running out of room. This one right here is my own personal that I started with. Um, I have things out of here, but I have three levels, nine. On the second level, I keep my um, lip and cheek colors. Those are cream. And on the bottom, I keep my eyeshadows. So this is mine. But whatever your needs are is what you can order. And uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have um, a little bit of, um, I went ahead and I kind of lined my eyes with a crayon, okay, a black crayon. I have used a little bit of Saint's Brow Wax and I brushed up my, uh, my eyebrows a little. Um, I'm going to start with doing my brows and my eyes first, just in case, uh, you get fallout here, then you can wipe it away and you haven't wiped away any makeup that you put on. So um, I generally use um, Anastasia, um, this is called Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's dip brow pomade in the color blonde. That's what I normally use. Um, this color right here, this eyeshadow color trust is an exact duplicate of that color. So. Um, when we say everything in one compact, it really is true. You even have your eyebrow color here. So I'm going to just dip this in a little bit with my, with my angled brush. Okay. And now forgive me because once in a while I may look down at a mirror because it's kind of hard to see in the, uh, camera lens. So I'm going to go down here like so. And I'm going to just line my brows. Okay. Hello. I'm going to just line by making a um, kind of a straight angled line. Now I have hooded eyes, which means, um, and this one is much more hooded than the other. Can you see that? The skin, the extra skin here is coming right down on my lashes. You cannot even see my lid. So we have to do things differently uh, in order to camouflage that if you have hooded eyes. So I'm just going to kind of darken fill in a little bit on my brows with the trust. Okay. And this side. It's funny how our eyes are different and the eyebrows, mine are very different. This one is a lot more 
<laughs> kind of sparse or whatever than the other one is. And I was blessed with very bushy eyebrows right in the center right here. And the beginning and the end, there's almost nothing. But in, this, in the center, they're very thick. I have my my daddy to thank for that. <laughs> he has, I have his eyebrows. All right. And I'm just taking that and I'm just kind of um, flicking it up into, into the, um, into the brow. Okay. We are done with that. I'm going to take a little bit of the, my brightener, and I'm going to clean up, as they call it, around the brows. We want a nice, crisp, clear line so you can see the delineation of um, the brow to your skin. And I'm using my linen just to kind of do that. Can you see that line? And now I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to bring it, feather it kind of down. And it really is true. Um, we say it's one compact makeup and it is. We have all of your foundation um, your contour, your, your um, blush, your lips, everything in one compact. And also your brows. The only thing you'd have to add would be a tube of mascara, okay? That one is done. Get my hair out of the way here. I always have to look and see which side of the brush I need to put. Uh, I need to put that on. But here is here's the other side, and you don't need very much. Um, my brows, since I have the hooded eyes. I generally try to keep them high and I don't bring the tail down. When you bring the tail down like that, a lot of times you kind of bring everything down and it kind of makes your face droop a little bit. So um, we want everything to be lifted. And with hooded eyes, you're gonna end up I'm going to put some eyeshadow on and you're going to see um, my normal crease is, of course, right here, but you're not going to see it. You see that? I have to make a new crease. It's going to come up higher. So you need as much space as possible from the tail of your brow down to your lashes. All right, let me go ahead and put this, the top on. And we're done with brows. Okay. I'm done with that. Let's go ahead and put our eyes on. I have bluish green eyes, greenish blue, okay? Kind of like gray almost. And we have um, specific eye shadow combos that are perfect for like blue eyes and brown eyes and that. Um, this is one that I like and it's really good for green eyes. Um, I'm gonna start again by using a little bit of my brightening highlight because look how red my lids are so i'm going to put that on here as a base to cover up the redness 
and make a nice a base for our eyeshadow. How are you doing, Andrea? So good to see you. Okay. Okay. I always follow that with a little dab of translucent powder, any kind will do, just so that you have a nice smooth um, canvas and it doesn't pull or tug or stick to the cream and it will blend easily. All right, I'm gonna start with a color called Cupcake and I'm just putting this all over my lid. And um, you can see our, um, our brush here. This is our eyeshadow brush, double-ended. All of our sink brushes are double-ended. This is the fluffy side, and this is more of a more dense pencil side. Cupcake is on. I'm gonna go with the outside now, and I'm gonna use a color called Amethyst. It's kind of a light little um, lavender color. And now I'm gonna use that little pencil brush because I'm gonna go right here and I wanna have good control right here. On the outside. We try to keep, or I do anyway, I try to keep my darker colors to the outside of the eye and the lighter ones to the inside. Let me put a little more over here. This is kind of uneven here. Here we go. Next, I'm gonna use a color in the crease area. It's called Kin. It's got kind of a little bit of a metallic kind of shimmer to it. And I'm gonna use the um, fluffy side for that. And it's just gonna go right here in the crease. Kind of like, you can put it on kind of like a, uh, like a little windshield washer here. and I'm bringing it up higher. Here's my normal crease, I'm bringing it up here. Not all the way to the eyebrow, but higher than my normal crease. It's so fun with all the uh, eyeshadows. Oh my gosh, there are glitters, there are shimmers, there is every color you can imagine. And the mattes are extremely pigmented. You don't need a lot at all. And so they last for a long time. When, you, when I showed you my compact a little while ago, the bottom of it, those have been in my compact for probably close to two years, the two years, okay? I might have reordered one, but one or two, but um, most of them are still going strong. All right, so we have this up high. Next, we're going to put on <clears throat> a little shimmer 
and it's called Bright Eyes. I When I use do a shimmer, I usually use my finger because you get much better coverage by using your finger. We're just gonna swipe this, okay? And it's gonna go like from the corner, just right behind your lashes here. Okay. Hi, Christina. So nice to see you. All right. So we have our shimmer on and I may line my eyes a little bit with a black shadow called Salem because I'm really fair and I like to have at least my eyes look a little dark. And so Salem is just our uh, pretty much our blackest eyeshadow. It's right there, Salem. And I'm just gonna take my little angle brush again and just kind of tap the, the this part right here. And I'm just gonna follow along Right there. If you don't have hooded eyes and you want to make a wing, go for it. I cannot wear um, liquid eyeshadow very well. It ends up looking kind of like I've said it before, people hear me multiple times say it looks like a crookedy roadmap, but it does. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom here, but only on the very outside, and I'm gonna turn my brush this way. I'm gonna go up like this, close my eye, and just flick it upwards just a hair. That's all the wing that I'm going to do. Closing your eye is helps a lot to get that nice and straight. So we have the outside here. I'm closing my eye, flick it up just a little bit. Okay. And one thing I forgot to do was bring my shadow down, um, bring it down a little bit underneath my eyes and I'm going to do that. So I'm gonna take the amethyst that we used right here on the outside and I'm just bringing that down a little bit. And if you want to take a tiny bit of the bright eyes, go right in the center. You can. All right. I'm going to take the cupcake too. That's the one we used all over. And I'm going to go right in the tear duct area right here which is gonna kind of brighten up my eyes. Okay, all done. Let me put a little bit of mascara on and we can move to the face. Let's do some makeup now. I am a little bit red and so I'm gonna show you what I do, right through here, here, my nose, right through here, I'm a little bit red. I'm gonna use this color corrector with my blend brush. This thing is wonderful just for uh, doing a very light, light little wash. Do you see how that's starting to turn orange? That is what it is supposed to do. We're talking just a little bit. It will counteract that 
red, which actually has some blue in it. And that's why we go to the opposite color on the color wheel, which blue opposite is orange. There's not much on here at all. Like if I, you don't see anything. I don't feel it. It's, it's dry, but it's on there just to do the color correction. That's all I need of that. Okay. And for anybody new, when I always explain it for the first time, people are looking the first time at this kind of makeup. It's kind of hard to understand it. So I'm just going to use the cheetah hack method. We call it the cheetah hack because you can literally take this and just paint it on. Okay. I'm going to start with my contour, which is going to go right here. Here's my cheekbone. It's going to go right underneath, okay, right there. We're going to stop at the end of our eye. All right, so we have that on. I'm also going to contour around my forehead. Guys, I'm gonna clip my hair back just so you can see it and I don't have to keep moving it out of the way. The contour is just going to create a shadow and that's what we want is a shadow. So we have those nice curves. I'm gonna contour my jawline here. Watch out earrings. And I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna take the contour, you see it's on my fingers right here. I'm gonna start at my brows. I'm gonna bring it forward and I'm touching. Do you see that? I'm just touching my fingers. So that it makes a very tiny, thin little line there. The dark color is gonna make it look like it's receding or going back. The light color, which is my brightener, I'm gonna put right down the center. And that's gonna make the center of my nose and the tip go forward. Okay, and we'll blend that out in a little bit. Now we're going to put on the mane. So it's right here, I'm just touching, and I'm gonna put mane, my mane color, pretty much everywhere that I don't have contour, or I'm not gonna put a brightener. So that's gonna be right here. I'm going here underneath my eyes. right here. I'm going up here. And that's, I'll put a little bit underneath right there. Okay, that's our main. Now we're going to brighten right here. Touch. We're going to start right here. Think of brightening is you want the center of your face to be brightened. It's gonna be kind of like here and an inverted V. We have it down the middle of our nose here. And I'm not gonna put it way down here in right underneath my eyes 
because I have bags. I don't have lines. I'm fortunate that I don't have the crow's feet, but I do have bags. <clears throat> and I don't, <clears throat> anything with a light color on it is just gonna emphasize those bags more. So, and we're ready to blend, okay? After we blend, I'll put the cheek color on in the lips. To blend, I'm gonna use my um, blush and bronzer brush. This one is a little more fluffy. This one is a little more dense. This is the perfect brush for blending this, this cream makeup out. I'm starting with the lighter color And I'm just gonna blend and go to the darker color. But we're blending it all together. You're gonna end up just using the same brush. It's fine. And this makeup just blends like a dream. It um, it blends beautifully. And for those of us, like I said, that have older, um, more mature skin, it's going to stay beautiful like this all day. I'm going to blend the sides of my nose out a little bit. Blend this contour out. And this is Astoria. I have used other um, contours. I like Indigo which has a little bit more red in it. I like henna, which is a little lighter, a little more um, medium brown. Um, but I, I like uh, Astoria, I think, the best. Now, we're not gonna completely blend this out. We still wanna be able to see that d delineation there, which gives the illusion that the cheekbones are are lightened up lifted if you will there we go and don't forget to blend this sometimes i do my granddaughter will come out and say grandma i don't think you blended your neck oh thank you danae <laughs> okay and I always bring it down on my neck you don't want your face to be a different color than your neck all right um, I'm gonna put a little bit of color on now on our lips and cheeks and this is baby watermelon before I started, I put a little um, lip uh, balm or conditioner. We have the most wonderful lip conditioner right here. And you can just take it and put it on right from the tube. It's a beautiful pink. And I'm going to just put... A couple of spots right here, right here, and we're going to blend. And again, we're just kind of blending this up, upwards. Now 
Look at that. I have kind of a sallow um, skin color normally. I'm not tan. I don't even tan in the summer. I don't. I just burn. <laughs> so when I wear this makeup, it really makes me just feel, it makes me feel kind of alive. I love it. Lastly, we're going to put a bronzer on just to warm up the face a little bit more. And what I'm using is my Bella bronzer right here. And I'm just going to lightly brush over that. Look at that. You can already see it bronzing up. I kind of do like a three. Would be where the sun kind of hits you. And I bring it down on my neck to kind of tie my neck in with my face. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes here. Let's see, just a little bit. And this didn't take hardly at all. Um, if you're a beginner and you're scared about using it, no need to be scared. Like I said, if you may, that's why I use the cheetah hack method because um, if you make a mistake and you get too much on somewhere, you can just take your brush and just blend it right out. It's cream, it's gonna blend. It'll blend in and um, yeah, it looks beautiful. I'm going to use a little bit of an illuminator too, just to show you what that looks like. Um, like I said, beginners may just want to start with the absolute basics, okay? But I'm going to show you what, what it could look like with the rest of everything on. Here's my illuminator. It's a little bit of a gold shimmer, if you can see that. Put, putting it down the bridge of your nose, again, helps your nose to look slimmer. And then, and what I'm using is called Georgia. And we're putting it just kind of on the high points of our cheeks and the nose. All right. The other thing I forgot is to um, go ahead and I'm going to put the cupcake right up here as well. You can even use a, uh, an illuminator up here. You could, I could use the Georgia if I wanted to just for a little bit of shine. There's that. I am topping my lips. That's the baby watermelon. I'm gonna top it with uh, this color called Royal, okay? Looks scary, looks really dark, but it's kind of like a gloss, okay? And it just kind of changed that pink to a little bit more burgundy color. Yes, you see that, Andrea? Oh my God. I love the lip and cheeks because you can custom make your, you know, your own colors. I'm putting a little bit more on my on my cheek here and I will blend it a little bit more 
What do I do with my brush here? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna blend a little bit more. And for those of you that are a little oily in the T-zone, we have a powder called our Vanilla Dust um, Finishing Powder. It's like so. Fits in your compact, okay? And I'm, this is our um, powder brush. Yeah, this is a powder brush. I'm just taking it a little bit and I'm just going to powder this little T-zone. You can also go ahead and use it here and it will help again to, you know, raise the lift your cheeks okay you can use it here as well to lift we are done now i was talking so it took a little bit longer but um basically i went over everything and um, for beginners, it's so easy to learn. And if you are uh, thinking about trying it, go ahead and try it. The well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned about Saint Cosmetics, what they can do for you, how beautifully they blend. And uh, I would love to color match you and I would love to be your makeup artist. All you have to do to get started is send me a color match, uh, and I have a color match form. You can find it uh, in the link in my bio, or just message me down below, just say color match, and uh, I will send you the link so that you can fill out the form. I'll need a makeup free selfie. The form explains to you how to take that selfie and attach it and send it to me. You'll have your colors within about 48 hours and we'll get started. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.